the real big question is, how many balls can you fit in your mouth? I don't know. <laughs> As quick fix desserts go, I cannot believe we have not made Brigadero. Or is it Brigadero? Or is it Brigadero? on this channel before. So today we're gonna to make an absolute Brazilian classic. This is a sweet treat loved by many and very simple to make. It takes three ingredients, butter, condensed milk, and a little bit of cocoa powder. So into a pot, we are going to add a little butter. We're going to add our condensed milk. And condensed milk is one of those wonderful retro store cupboard ingredients that you can do a whole host of different things. One of my favorite things to do with them in particular is to boil them for two hours, completely covered with water, otherwise it explodes. And it turns this kind of milky, sticky, sweet mixture into the most luscious dulce de leche style caramel. So it's a good one to have on hand, but it also works beautifully in this recipe too. So in amongst that, we're going in there with some cocoa powder. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna let the butter melt down, we're gonna combine everything together, and essentially you've got a brigadeiro mix. Am I, I feel like I may be butchering it. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> right, let's get stirring. Okay, we are in business. This literally takes just a few minutes until it starts to come to a nice bubble, and you'll notice that it becomes really shiny because the butter has melted, but it also thickens up as well. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn off the heat at this point. At this moment, this is like molten lava. This is not something you want on your skin, so be really, really careful. It should thicken up just like this and kind of look like it's, it's definitely holding its shape a bit better. I'm gonna get rid of my little whisk. I have a little spatula, and all you're gonna do is transfer this out into a little serving dish or a, something like a shallow bowl like this one that is gonna set up and chill in the fridge so that we can roll our little Brigadeiro balls. So it might just look like a big bowl of brown right now, but this is gonna set in the fridge for at least an hour, and once it has set, it's perfect for ball rolling time. Now, it hasn't changed much with its time in the fridge, but you get a lovely glossy finish that is now ready to be Balled. So, we have a little baller. You use one of these, they're for like melon balls normally, but it works perfectly for a brigadeiro. Otherwise, if you don't have one of these, you can easily use two teaspoons and you'll get a small amount that you can roll up. So, just scoop up a little amount of it. I want the balls to be quite small, but once you have them in that shape, you're just gonna use your hands and roll them up into nice little ball shapes. And as you can see, it's a very easy little method. You just get nice, perfect little beautiful balls, which can now be dropped into either cocoa powder or a little bit of icing sugar. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go a little touch of icing sugar and then literally that is it. So you just gotta work your way through this entire mixture till you have the perfect coating on all of these. I'm gonna do the other one with a little bit of cocoa powder and espresso powder mixed together. So just a little teaspoon of espresso powder with some cocoa powder and you should be in business. You'll get a coffee hit and a coffee taste. The other thing I would say is that once you have it at this point, you can do so many different things. There's so many different coatings you could uh, choose to use. One of my favorite ways of doing this is to blitz up some pistachio nuts. So you get this sort of like green powder essentially and then you can coat it in that and it's so, so nice. So a little bit of the cocoa powder espresso mix as well. There you go, two beautiful, very easy little methods with uh, Brigadero, the classic mix. Uh, I now have to work my way through this. We're gonna get a beautiful pile of Brigadero and then we're gonna taste them. Right, so after a bit of work, you'll get left with a big plate of balls, and that's never a bad thing. So, the last thing we need to do is try one. Oh, so simple, three ingredients. I can see why this is a Brazilian classic. You can coat them in so many different things. I quite like the little icing sugar. It's that extra hit of sweetness, not that it needs it, but if you want the full recipe for it, not that you need it, it's so simple. It is in the link in the box below over on my website. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel for lots more delicious quick fix desserts just like this one. If you like the look of this, and if you are Brazilian, let me know, have I done your classic sweet treat dessert? 
justice? Let me know in the comments below. And until then, my friends, I'm off to eat a big plate of balls and I'll see you later.